Hi guys, it's Sam here again with Bard Hunting Blonde and today I am bringing you a video on why I am selling my Fendi Peekaboo in the medium size. So as you guys can see, this is a Fendi Peekaboo. It is the slightly older style as it has a more of a rounded um, curves right here instead of the newer ones which are much more hard angles which kind of remind me of the difference between the Kelly and the Retorn and the Kelly in the Cellier. It's much more like the Retorn version. I have had this bag for almost a year and I honestly never ever use it and that is one of the main reasons why I'm selling it. I think it needs to go to a good home. But there are definitely some reasons why I never use it. So this is in the Napa leather. And one of the nice things and why I initially liked this bag is it does have feet. And a lot of bags surprisingly don't have feet on the bottom or they have like leather strips for feet and I don't love that. So when I saw that this did have feet, I was excited about it. The weird thing is this bag has feet but that does not mean that this bag is going to stand up. As one of my followers on Instagram said about her Fendi Peekaboo, it's like a drunken sailor, which is completely the right phrase for this bag. So this bag at first, when you put it on a table, when you put it down, it will stand up and it will stand up straight and it'll be great. And you're not worried about it, you're talking to your friends and then all of a sudden you hear this thunk. And that is because this bag will have decided it is falling over. And I think that is because of the structure of this bag. So the interior of this bag, once you undo the cool twist locks, which I love, um, is divided. So as you guys can see where the handle is attached is a metal piece that is held up by um, either, this can be leather, so this is leather, this is a beautiful smooth cognac color. Um, I've also seen it when it's the Fendi Zuka print or I've seen it in various different uh, monsters, you know, that they did with the inside of the bags. I've seen it with a bunch of different things and it is, the leather is not strong enough to hold up this metal bar. So you guys probably aren't gonna be able to see this, but it does at the bottom have some structure loss. And that is because the leather, no matter how layered they try to make it, is not strong enough to hold up the metal bar, which is also one of the reasons why it falls over because this right here, you can feel a solid line of leather. And once that leather line has decided it's bowing, the whole bag is coming down. And that just really upsets me because this bag is not cheap. It is definitely on the higher end of designer bags and it falls over. And at first I thought, well, maybe this is something to do because it's a little bit more of a vintage style. So I went and from Fashion File and I bought a newer version of the bag, which I have since returned. And it had more of the Cellier version and it fell over even worse than this one. And this one is older by about a year than the newer version. So I think it's just something with the structure of this bag. Reason number two why I am not keeping this bag and I'm selling it is that it is supposed to do a slouchy thing when you undo this and mine does not slouch at all. I don't know if it's the type of leather, if it's that I don't like, even when I undo these little, there's these little Fendi buttons on the end, even when I undo those, it does not slouch, like at all, and it never has. And everyone kept telling me, oh, oh, it'll happen over time, it'll happen over time. That is as much slouch as you get. So, two things about the bag that I thought I loved, having feet and standing up, and then two, slouching, neither of them happened. And then three. So this bag does have a crossbody strap and it is adjustable. You guys can see here, crossbody strap, the end, it's adjustable, which is great, but it's kind of an awkward size to be wearing with a crossbody or a shoulder strap. I think that it's maybe the mini would do a better job with kind of all these things that I've been looking at. But when I went into the store, the mini was just too small for me. I'm 5'10 and it just, it, I just didn't like how it looked on me. So I went with the medium thinking I wouldn't have as many of the issues as I have. So I am selling this to Fashion File. I've had a good experience selling with them. I am sad that it didn't work out for me, but I do think if you are someone who doesn't mind a slouchy bag or doesn't, mind, when, when I say slouchy, I mean not the way it's supposed to slouch, just that it slouches and falls over. And if you don't mind that, then I say it's a beautiful bag, but 
Even with the newer style, which I thought would fix the falling over issue, it didn't. And that just was really, really sad to me. I just think it's such a cool bag. It's such a beautiful bag. It's very reminiscent of the Kelly. And even though it is pricey, it's still cheaper than the Kelly. I just, it just didn't work out for me. And that made me really sad because it definitely been on my wish list for a long time. So if, as you can see, it's already starting to fall over. If you are one of those people who really wants a structured bag, I would say the Fendi Peekaboo is not for you. It is so similar to the Kelly just save up for the Kelly. That's kind of become my mentality now with this bag. Even though I really love Fendi, Fendi is totally having a moment. and I'd love to have this in my collection. It's just really not gonna work out for me. So if you like these type of reviews, please make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. If you guys want to see how I style my bags, please make sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And if you liked this video and you have any questions about the bag or any comments about content you want to see, please make sure to hit the thumbs up like button and to leave the comment down below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I will see you in my next video. Have a good day, guys. Bye, guys.